Bet you haven't heard this one before. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. It's like we're just, we're so immersed in this review. Lesson 216. This is a good one. Like way good. It can be but myself. I crucify all that I do. I do unto myself. If I attack, I suffer. But if I forgive, salvation will be given me. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. Ah. So anyways, <laughs> it can be my it can be but myself I crucify. So if you are attacking in any way, judging in any way, hating in any way, it comes right back on you. All that I do, I do unto myself. If I attack, I suffer. But if I forgive, salvation will be given me. So this can be used to your advantage, I guess. So lesson 216. Um, excellent, excellent reminder because whew, we don't need to be in pain and we don't need to hurt ourselves because there's always the other way. So food for thought, big time. Jesus for lesson 216 reminded us that our bodies, the ego loves them. Your body is a great asset to the ego. It's everything. Beauty and strength is everything to the ego. So it's valued and it's emphasized and it's encouraged. But the more you focus on the body, the more you crucify yourself. And when the body gets involved, for example, in special love relationships, that's when things get a little bit wonky. So when you worship the body, it leads you to pain. But when you focus on creativity, it leads to love. So Jesus reassured us that we didn't need to join a monastery where we didn't brush our hair and never make love to another human being again. But he really wants us to focus on being creative, being love, being in that internal world, connecting with people non-physically, and experiencing love in its many forms. Jesus mastered the material world, and he mastered love and forgiveness. And he said that when he went on the cross, that was not to show anything other than the valuelessness of the body because he willingly gave it up because he knew he could manufacture a new one at will. And he said, that's exactly the trip that you're on here. You will also master love and the physical world, but you need to focus on your internal world first. I mean, essentially, that's what he said. I mean, he said a lot. He said a lot. And I was like, Jesus, you got a lot to say for Saturday, okay? <laughs> but yeah, not obsessing about the body, not focusing on the body, not starving the body, not, not using the body for love. You know, uh, he had some really good points. Um, and I think that the idea of mastering love, mastering forgiveness, mastering the physical world, that sounds good. So how do we do that? We focus on creativity. We focus on love. We focus on what we truly love. We focus on our passions and all of that. So if I start thinking I am just a body, you know, that is when you invite in fear, vulnerability, because if, if your body wavers, you could get freaked out and you think that's it for you. Um, and it's like, 
I can see people saying like, well, what if I love going to the gym and working out my body? <laughs> what if that's my passion, right? But it's like, can you use your body now as a tool for forgiveness for your other passions? Like, I don't know, it gets a little tricky there for us meatheads. Um, but if you are focused on real love in your heart, um, your body should actually function really good. My mind functions pretty good and so does my body because the body follows the mind. So the more I can focus on feeling creative, feeling loving, feeling happy, feeling good, feeling nice and sweet, genuinely inside of my head, my body seems to do better just from observing. I will, I will say that. Pathwaysoflight.org Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles, Workbook Lesson 216, Insights. Review. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. It can be, but myself, I crucify. If I see other people as bodies, I am crucifying myself. If I make what their bodies do real, I am crucifying myself. What I make real in others is what I am making real in myself. Making anyone's ego real is denying their true identity and my true identity, and I will suffer for it. When I do not remember I am connected with God, at some level, I feel lost and alone. As I do these lessons, I realize this need not be. I can let my mind be changed. I can learn to consistently see the spark of God in my brother. This helps me recognize the same spark of God is in me. We all have one real life, and that is the life we live in God. If I deny this, I am attacking myself and attacking my brother. Letting go of the denial of the truth is forgiveness. It is my one purpose. As I practice forgiveness daily, I am learning how to be truly happy, how to be truly free. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. There is great empowerment in the statement, all that I do, I do unto myself. It puts me fully in charge of my life experience. If I experience suffering, it is because I have attacked. If I experience freedom from judgment, it is because I have forgiven. It is all going on in my own mind and my thoughts are entirely in my control. At times it doesn't seem that I have control over my thoughts. This is only because I have put the ego thought system in charge and then forgotten I put it in charge. The entire ego thought system is a system of illusions. It has no power of its own. Illusions can be frightening, but only if I believe they are real. When I remove the belief in its reality, the illusion is simply disregarded. In my mind, it is always my decision what I will believe is real. No one can make that decision for me, nor can anyone change my decision for me. But I always have the power to change my mind. My salvation comes with withdrawing belief in illusion. The moment I do that, reality returns to my awareness. As I practice remembering the body is not me and I am still love as I was created, I open the door to the experience of heaven, the peace and joy of the love of God. So today, with hope and eager anticipation, I practice. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. With every repetition, I move a step closer to accepting 
the truth of these statements, I move a step closer to freedom. Pathwaysoflight.org I really thought that one part was funny. Um, I, I put the put the ego thought system in charge and then I forgot I put the ego thought system in charge. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Like, and if you can catch yourself like in that moment being like, oh my God, I'm thinking crazy because I put the ego thought system in charge. I forgot that I did, but now I'm seeing it. That's your chance to choose different. That moment right there. So anyways, it's always a choice. If you're seeing other people as bodies, you're seeing yourself as bodies. So that's one, one way to start stopping that. <laughs> um, it's, it's really good, you guys. Thanks for doing these lessons for yourself. And of course, for everyone, truly. Uh, I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. It, it can be, but myself I crucify. So you get to choose if you want to bear the cross or, or not, or not. All that I do, I do unto myself. If I attack, I suffer. But if I forgive, like truly forgive, salvation will be given me. And you'll feel the difference. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. So focus on what you truly love today. Focus on being creative. Focus on love. No crucifying. No crucifying yourself. <laughs>